Hi, y'all. Welcome out to my range day. Thank you for watching, guys. What we're doing today is just out here having fun, exercising our Second Amendment right. What I've got, I got the Springfield Garrison 1911. It's chambered in a 9mm. And I've got the T-Sauce 1911, chambered in a 9mm. It's a Stingray, guys. If you've followed my channel, you've seen both of these little firearms on there. This one has a four and a quarter inch barrel. This is a five inch barrel. And guys, this has an aluminum frame. But what I wanted to do today is just compare them, you know, put the T-Sauce versus the Springfield. And guys, I've got five magazines. The Springfield only came with one mag. And guys, I bought two Wilson Combat mags to go with it. And I have run the, the Wilson Combats in both, and they have done fairly well. And the T-Sauce came with two of its own magazines. So I've got five mags of just a federal, federal uh, full metal jacket, guys. It's 115 grain, and that's all I was going to shoot in it. But I was going to compare it. Now, when I first bought this little pistol here and shot it, it ran everything I put in it. I know 1911s, everybody says, and we know that you, and there's a period of time that they need to be broke in. This Springfield had a few failures to feed. Uh, if you've not seen that video, go back and check it out. Check my channel out and find it. But it had a few failures to feed, guys, and uh, everybody said it needed a break-in period. Now, this one here, it ran ammo from the start to finish. I ain't never had any problems. Now, I may have some today. But that being said, what I want to do is run a few mags down range. Like I said, I've got 50 rounds, five mags loaded up, guys. And what I'm going to do is start out with a Stingray. This thing has done wonderful. I really, I really like the Stingray, guys, the T-Sauce. And, uh, of course, there's quite a bit of difference in price between the Springfield and the T-Sauce Stingray. But I'm going to tell you, I'm not selling guns or, or magazines or ammo or anything. The only thing I'm doing is just showing you my experience with what I've got. And, guys, that being said, let's send a mag or two down range in the in the stingray right here and see what happens and uh see if uh if the springfield will run mo or what but i just wanted to see what you guys opinion was which one would you choose would you choose the stingray t-saw stingray or would you st uh, choose the springfield armory 1911 nine millimeter guys that being said let's send a few rounds down range right here and see what happens y'all ready let's see what we can do right here now Heard one mag, let's run us another one. That's the original mag that came with this little firearm, guys. And we'll run us another one down range and see what happens. We got her locked and loaded, keeping her down range right here. Let's see what we can do now. I've actually carried this little firearm some, but I ain't headed out. Of there we go, mag number two. Like I said, the Stingray, the T-Sauce Stingray, has not had any failures, any issues with any ammo I've ever run. I've got a video that I didn't run nothing but defensive ammo, so it never had any issues with it, guys. And that being said, we'll get to Springfield Armory, chambered in the 9mm. We'll load it up, send a few of that them down range to see what happens, guys. And I've got the two Wilson Combat mags left there. And I'll run a couple of those down the range and see what happens. But guys, that being said, let's see if the Springfield will feed ammo today or not. Let's see what we can do right here, guys. Fed that made good. Fed that made good. Now I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I've got the Wilton Combat, and I'm not selling magazines, I'm just telling you what I got. I got the Wilton Combat loaded up with 10. We'll put a mag of that in here and run it down the range. See what happens with it right here, guys. Y'all ready? Put your earplugs in good and tight. Ran it. Ran it. Guys, this is coming in there pretty good. Now what I'm going to do, i got one more mag, uh, Wilson Combat mag. What I'm going to do is, if I can count properly while I'm shooting, 
I'm gonna put five down range in the T-Saw Stingray and five in the Springfield Armory and we'll see how that goes, guys. We got four left in this one right here and I'll put the safety on this one. We got four left in this one, guys. We'll put them four down range. See what happens right there. Got her locked, got her loaded. Let's see what we can do with this now. Didn't lock back on that in there. Didn't lock back on it back, guys, but it's feeding now more better than it did when I first got it out of the box and started shooting it. But like I said, this little fella here never had a bit of problem with it. It's got one round in the chamber. Let's send it down range right here, guys. That fed no problem. Guys, like I said, y'all leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about uh, the Springfield Armory Garrison 1911, chambered in 9mm. Uh, guys, this is a beautiful pistol. Fun thing to shoot. And like I said, you know, since I've shot it quite a bit, it's running ammo fairly decent now in the Stingray. If you've not seen the videos of both of these right here, go back and check my channel out, guys, and check them out and look at them there. And I appreciate you for watching. If you've not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, and tell me what your opinion is on these two. I just wanted to compare them. They both shooting good now. Uh, any misses is my fault, but guys, they both shoot good. They're both running good, and I would carry either one of them, really. Now, the Springfield's heavier than the Stingray, but I have carried the Stingray. I've not carried the Springfield any. But Okay, guys, I thank y'all for watching. And like I said, the Springfield Armory is running good. The T-Sauce Stingray is running good. I have carried the Stingray uh, T-Sauce quite a bit. I've never carried, actually carried the Springfield. But both of them is running pretty good. Uh, I shot several rounds through both. Uh, and guys, I wanted y'all to leave me a comment. Tell me which one would you rather have? Would you rather have the, the T-Sauce Stingray or the Springfield Garrison 1911, nine millimeters? Uh, guys, they running pretty good. Just out here having fun. And just remember, I appreciate you for watching. Appreciate the ones that have supported my channel. And just remember, there's a God in heaven that created the heavens and earth. He created me and you in his, in his image. We fell from grace, fell into sin. He sent his son, his only begotten son, to die for me and you on an old rugged cross. He shed his precious blood. He was sinless, but he shed that blood so me and you could have forgiveness for our sins. On the third day, he was resurrected from the dead, guys. And guys, if you don't know that free pardon of sin, just repent of your sins. Ask God to come into your life, forgive you your sins. And he'll do so. You'll have eternal life, guys. Until the next time, may God bless you.